What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Street Fighter 6. It is a fresh new session, daytime session, by the way, going on today. Uh, I changed the color of my joystick to red because we're using the red and blue bison. We call them the Super Mario bison. Um, gonna get some casual play in to warm up first before we jump into rank. Haven't played this now for three days, so I need to get the rust off and get the cobwebs off again. Um, however, this game has an innate flaw when it comes to casual play. And the flaw is... It looks for people of your skill level, which is dumb. Casual play means you're just supposed to be playing anyone. It could be anyone from any skill level playing anybody else. That's the whole point of casuals. It's not ranked. It's not serious. You can test new tech. You can mess around with timing. You can learn things online. You can get muscle memory down. That's the point. This game, in a very flawed state, searches for people of your skill level, which is dumb. I don't want to only play people of my own skill level. I won't have opportunity to learn that way, right? So that's why I've been getting so few casual play matches as of late oh look la cucaracha the cockroach here we go already fucked up my first combo Yep, neutral jump. Everyone does it. That's the pattern. Oh. Yep, that neutral jump. That's all I gotta do. Just stand there neutral jump on Bison. Bison can't really do anything. That's the pattern everyone's doing now. Everyone says just neutral jump because if you neutral jump on Bison and he scissors, you get free combo. So you can't really do scissor from mid screen if they have an opportunity to neutral jump now. M. Bison wins. Round one. Fight. Wow, it stuffed my medium kick from that distance. Yo, neutral jump. Just keep neutral jumping. That's what they're all taught. They all watch the tutorial video. Just keep neutral jumping on Bison. He'll just get hit when he tries to scissor. Yep. Flow chart. Neutral jump on Bison constantly. Oh, neutral jump! <laughs> you couldn't make it up any any better. You neutral jump everything. Just neutral jump. Neutral jump against Bison.
I dash up, I throw. He just says, I'll mash jab. The game rewards him with mash jab instead of giving me my throw. Which I did time perfectly. The game says, oh, jab, you know, you mashed it, so just give it to him. Neutral jump. Wow. Of course, neutral jump again. Literally just holds up the entire fucking round at this point. He's only hit me with neutral jump so far. Match. Mash. What the fuck? Okay. Mash. <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Just random mashing and fucking luck. Can't do anything. Wow. Free combo, huh? Look at this, dude. 100% flow chart play beats me. It's just nothing in reaction to anything besides mash EX reversal, flow chart play, neutral jump. Again, not a thought in the head, and that's the problem. People have now studied the bullshit counter videos online, and now it's not fun to play this shit. Like, how was that fun? The guy literally did not play me, did not poke me, did nothing to out to stop me. He just kept holding up on the joystick, and every opportunity he got, mash EX Dragon Punch. That was the whole thing, and it killed me. It actually killed me. Look at all the damage that that character does with that bullshit. With no fucking brain in the head. Do anything there. There we go, same old shit. Do anything have done nothing wrong have no meter can't do anything to pattern cami literally i've done nothing wrong i didn't do a one mistimed move just get fucked up by pattern cami that was parry Mash. What? I hit her three times. I hit her three times with that it, with the uh, jumble reverse, and she still fucking hit me through anyway with jive impact. Dive kick beats anything on the ground. No scissors. Oh, it's everything I do. Level three. No skill. 
Every time she presses a button on the ground, it stuffs everything Bison has. So I can't do anything about it. It's all safe hits. No brain. Okay, I didn't press jab, right? First, I jumped into medium punch. No, her jumping light stuffs it. Then I pressed jab. Oh, no, she threw you. No, I pressed jab. You fucking fucked up and didn't give me my fucking jab. Again, okay. Why did that whip? Dive kick stops standing medium too. It stops everything. Here we go again. Neutral jump. Everyone just neutral jump against Vice and you can't do anything against it. You cannot stop it. You literally can't stop anything she's doing. No drive rush. I can play perfectly and still lose to the pattern because it's fucking... It's so good. The patterns are so shit stupid in this fucking game. Why did that hit me? This is insane. Now she gets a combo! It's absolutely nuts how many advantages this fucking character has. All for a person who doesn't even know fundamentals. The pattern beats everything. nothing I can do about that. I'm trying to do the good anti-air. It whiffs, even though I'm the right distance, and then she gets a 50% punish combo for mashing a jab. There you go. Bullshit. Oh! Stuffed my move! Can't do anything. The game is, dude. I'm telling, it's un, it's impossible. She did nothing. She literally, I've done everything intelligent, everything timed well, trying to counter everything she does. But the odds are always in her favor because it's a scrub character. So everything she mashes wins. Every pattern is in her favor. Literally every single move favors Cami. I have no advantages whatsoever in that fight at all. None. I can't anti-air. I can't ever do a ground move. If I literally just walk forward and press standing medium kick, she can jump and dive kick and punish it. What the fuck? Why did you make that move so fast and so safe? It's brainless. There's no intelligence to the gameplay. It's just dunce level shit. A fucking child can play like that. And that's top tier cami in this game. Round one. Fight. Why that didn't combo either. I don't know why that hit. The stupid neutral jump. Well, all I was gonna do against Bice is keep neutral jumping. 
M. Bison with round one. It dropped my input entirely. Neutral jump. What did I say? Everyone watch the same tutorial video. When you're fighting Bison, just keep neutral jumping. It beats most of his moves. Why the fuck would you make that fucking video? Only what I did, standing medium. Thank you. That's it, level three combo. Wow, just perfect, huh? Perfectly beats it. Jesus Christ. Not even a trade. On fight, mash, standing roundhouse. Wow, look at the reward. Look at the reward for pressing roundhouse on fight. That's insanity. What the fuck? He's not doing anything. Oh my god. Of course I missed. I tried reversal, nothing. What the fuck? Right. From that distance, oh my god. You saw how far I was? And now this guy's learning bad habits because that's not safe what he's doing. The standing roundhouse is a bad move. Yeah, blah. Completely chipped to death. On fight, just press it, right?
All pattern. No parry. I get hit instead. Of course! Of course I can't punish it. Of course. So many advantages, right? Fucking roundhouse on fight. The most unsafe fucking move. And look at the reward the game gives him for it. <laughs> Insane. Insanely stupid gameplay. Mash again. Yep. Good mashing. night he quit <laughs> yeah I don't know man and, and by the way you notice I just fight the same people over and over it's always Akuma or fucking Kami literally every fight is Akuma, Kami or Bison that's it no one's playing anybody else online anymore so every fight's identical Uh, standing medium kick is a great normal with Bison, but as you can see, since so many characters have instant fast moves with no recovery, he can get punished. It's a good counter poke, basically. The crouching medium punch is good. I actually think crouching medium kick is his best normal, but it's hard to get it to land. I don't know, man. I'm trying everything, but half the time, these people, it is, they've all watched the fucking same tutorial video. When you face Bison, stand at exactly this distance. Wait for him to go for a poke and take one step back and then counter hit. If you're ever near Bison, just jump neutral a million times because that just beats all his normals. So they've all watched the video. So they all know how to fucking just do basics against Bison and sadly it counters the vast majority of strategies he has. So now I can't really play Bison. I have to fuck around and try to find ways around their mistakes. <laughs> Lore-wise, does Bison beat Akuma? Yes, because Bison can't die. Even if Bison's defeated, he's going to come back anyway in another body. Like, he's kind of like an infamous enemy, right? You could beat him now, but he'll never be truly defeated. He always reincarnates. Here comes a new challenger. I did. <laughs> Amazing gameplay, huh? Sure. 
don't know why I'm getting hit. His jab beat my meaty medium punch. His mash jab waking up beats meaty medium punch. so stupid he literally woke up just pressing jab like this and it beats my setup to keep him in place why why make the game like that he didn't jump I held upright, nothing. Wow, this is a great fighting game, huh? Look at all this fighting game gameplay I'm being defeated by. It drops my medium punch right in the middle of my combo. But his meaty beats me. If I press jab on wake up, his meaty beats me. But he could press it on wake up and stuff me. Wow, isn't this great? Isn't this how you want to play fighting games? This is just so exciting, right? The dude just does one pattern in your face the entire time. And there must be a way to blow through it, but I don't know. It's just a shitty pattern that I can't beat. Of course. He jumps through it? He can jump right through your fucking super. Like, you're not even doing it. What the fuck, dude? Of course, random drive impact from full screen. Pack random, okay. Mash jab. Round two. Fight. 
Super scrub gameplay. Super scrub. I'm sure he pressed no buttons. I'm sure. body. Mm -hmm. So I really have no anti-air. And, Bison, and Bison has no, he's level one super. Basically passes right through them when they're jumping at you. Right? His low fierce punch isn't fast enough to counter when they're at that certain distance. His level 2 super is pretty useless. It's not good for anti-air. So he has no anti-air. Effectively. Yeah. Bison basically has no anti-air. Which is why people can just neutral jump on him all day. He has to get lucky and mash low fierce and hope it comes out fast enough. The EX Psycho Crusher is not fast enough. And regular Psycho Crusher also is slow. Like, you can only get it to work against certain things. If someone's doing, like, Blanca Ball, well, Psycho Crusher has invincibility on Wake Up, but it's very slow. But since it's invincible, the ball will kind of hover in front of it, and you can still hit him. Same thing with a counter against the headbutt. But against a regular jump in, it's actually worthless. So, the, the weakness of Bison is this. Just stay on him. Keep jumping. Seriously. Just keep fucking jumping on him, and he can't really do anything. That's, that's, my, that's what I'm seeing. He has no true reversal. And no true anti-air. So because of that, yes, when he gets stuff going, he'll dominate. But outside of that, it's very rare. Like, just stay on him and jump a lot. And neutral jump a ton, right? Because that's what everyone is doing now. They all watch the same videos. Oh, neutral jump a million times. It, it just, you, you can't scissor. You can't uh, cycle crusher. You can't do anything. And most of his normal don't recover fast enough. So they can punish your normal. Just a standing kick gets stuffed by the neutral jump. So, yeah, I actually think that a lot of people now kind of have his number. It's sad, but I do. I think that a lot of people all watch the same How to Beat Bison videos, and now they all know the basics to beat him easily.
Huh. That's completely incorrect. Someone just tipped the dollar says, if someone can mash out of your meaty, it's not a meaty. Wrong. I'll tell you right now, that's not correct. There, there's perfectly timed meaties that people just mash jab through because that's the nature of this netcode. This netcode favors someone who presses the same button five times in a row than someone who just times one button input because that's the nature of rollback netcode. It's predictable netcode. So it's going to give the guy going like this advantage instead of the guy timing, okay, and now. No, the guy who mashed the button gets the advantage online with this game. That's just challenger. it. You have to deal with it. That's this netcode. <laughs> On fight, stuffs my medium kick. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Wrong distance. No drive rush for some reason. Bye bye. M. Bison wins. Round one. Uh, I fucked it up. I didn't know that was going to happen. He gets free combo by mashing jab. He didn't time it. He just mashed it. He got baited. Okay. Okay, you're so good. He just mashed jab through my hit string, hoping for the best. Literally, I'm in the middle of a hit string. I'll just keep doing this, and if it hits, I get a free combo. It's terrible scrub gameplay, and that's what they all do. They're all just hoping if I just keep mashing my button while this guy's doing a big combo, maybe the game will drop the combo because of the netcode, and I'll get a big reward. And then they do. <laughs> like, what? Why did he get rewarded for mashing the button? Why am I mad even though I won? Because I... I'm exposing the shortcomings of modern Street Fighter. You understand? A fighting game should not reward you because the entire time you're playing, you're going like this. Match, match, match. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hopefully this guy messes up and then I get a giant reward. It shouldn't work at all.
<laughs> it just doesn't make sense. I'm I'm upset that modern games have become this. Because this is not what fighting games were meant to be. Everything's a pattern. Everyone watches a tutorial video and does the same basic shit over and over. Everyone mashes buttons in the middle of hits. Like, what? So now I have to I have to adapt and deal with this shit, which I don't like. But it is what it is. I have the right to complain, but you have the right to complain too about my complaining. You know, everyone has a right. It's called freedom of speech. Tried something right there. Tried to jump medium, but it didn't come out fast enough. Fuck me for some reason, don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I, I haven't done anything yet. I didn't do anything. He was doing that hit string. I was just back down backing. And for some reason, he stood up and got hit, even though I never input anything. My drive rush doesn't come out. His does. Why do my meetings always get fucking stuck? My meetings always get stuck. Every time I try a meaty, they just bash right through it. It's really frustrating, man. Okay. All my stuff gets stuff constantly and it drives me fucking nuts. I don't know what I'm doing wrong that all my meetings and shit always get stuff. Where's my jab? Blah. Where's my jab? Oh, 
Why did it not have fucking parries right in front of me? Of course it whiffs. Now he gets full level 3 combo. Because the punch goes the wrong direction. Wow. Because I control what direction the punch goes, right? That's not the game's coding. Right. <laughs> I can really control that. Nine times out of ten, it goes the right way. This time, it goes completely the wrong direction. Free reward for this guy. Giant 100% reward. Great gameplay. Dropped my medium punch. Gives me the move after the medium. You just neutral jump, everyone. Just neutral jump. I can do it too. Now he punched stuff's mine. Why? I don't know. That was a bad move. <laughs> oh, well, I received a tip. Thank you for a four dollar tip. You're looking good against all of these masters and casual. I'm loving it. It says Hickory Handballs. Thank you for the... If you can big it, be, believe it. Thank you for the biggest contribution of this stream. A $4 tip. Okay. Once again, same old matchups. As you can see, I've gotten zero variety in casual play, right? I fought Kami, Akuma... And Bison. That's literally it. I fought nobody else in casual play. Huh. Alright, this will be the last one for casual. Then I'll take a break. And then we'll go to ranked for the rest of the stream. Zero variety in casual. Same exact characters over and over. Ad nauseum. Super boring. Ugh. At least I'm warming up with my execution. There was the Rashid. I agree. Okay. The Rashid. The one trick pony Rashid. Who only knew the one hit string. And outside of that... Couldn't really do much else. Here comes a new Again, this is ridiculous, man. Oh my god. Modern Akuma. Mash a button to blow it out. Wow. Fight. 
Wow, modern Akuma scrub. Unreal. Modern Akuma scrub. My, oh my god. This is insane the amount of bullshit. I can't do anything. Modern Akuma Scrub. Literally no inputs whatsoever. He has every button he input was a one button input. So he never had to react. Whenever he saw something, he would just mash the high priority instant move. Wow. I did. It dropped my input completely. Modern Akuma Scrub. I block fireballs on reaction, not online. You get around fireballs online, modern Akuma Scrub. Mash again! It's hilarious! How am I supposed to fight it? again unbelievable crap unreal the how bad the gameplay is but it's modern akuma so if he can it's re literally react to everything you do can't block a reaction How many times did he just mash OD, OD with one button? Unreal. OD. Neutral jump, just neutral jump on Bicing. It stuck my low media. Literal pattern play. Walk up, press groundhouse from that distance after the throw, and you'll get a fucking stuck. It's all pattern play. There's no brain in that fucking head. There's literally no brain in the player's head. He's near me. Press this button. 
Oh, look, I have a pattern. I do the teleport immediate throw because I learned that online because someone told me, right? Because I saw someone said there's a flowing pattern. You could keep going. So let me try that now. Oh, look. Oh, look. I'll mash this button again. Oh, it blows through everything. Oh, look. Oh, here we go. Fireball. 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 No brain. <laughs> no brain. Wow. All right. We'll do one more. And then we'll go to the break. And then we'll go to rank. Cracker Jacks. Exactly. He says, doesn't it seem like playing the pattern like that would be boring? Yes. But that's the point I'm making. True people who understand fighting games at a high level would never play like that because they can't stand it. Because you're intelligent. You have, like, self-awareness of how fighting games are fun. So you would never play the game like that. You'd be so bored with yourself, you wouldn't care if you won. Who cares if you're getting endless wins if you're doing it by doing the most boring style of gameplay I've ever seen? You go right to sleep. So why play? The whole point of games is to have fun. If you're not making a fun experience, then why even do it? You know? <laughs> It's just ridiculous. No, the only reason they have fun is because they got to win. But winning isn't everything. It's about the experience of actually understanding, outplaying, outthinking, outreacting. Not, oh, I just literally did a pattern. Fireball, 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 fireball. Oh, he's near me. Oh, do you invincible reversal? Fireball, fireball, fireball. Like, what the fuck? I mean, you can go through your entire life like a cow, where all you do is you're just kind of just hose through. You know, self-awareness, no high-level intelligent thought at all. Just I exist to exist, and you'll get through life. But will it be a meaningful life? So go ahead, chew your cud. You know, I don't know what else to say. That's how you want to be. <laughs> Of course it whiffs somehow. I can't do anything because I have no super. So she's going to hit me with this. I can't get out. Everything whiffs. Can't do anything. 100% brainless play. Completely brainless idiot. Same exact gameplay as every other cami. Can't anti air it. I try. I tried to break throw. Nothing. Can't, bro can't block at all. Take no drive rush. Mash, mash scrub. Yeah, beats me. Nothing I can do. Yes, throw. Good fucking night. M. Bison.
If my level one super had come out when she did drive impact, she was dead, but my level one super drops. Anything. What? It showed me blocking. It showed it blocking, and the block released in the middle of the attack for no reason. It showed it blocking. It said block, and then it just didn't block, even though I'm not releasing the joystick. Thanks, rollback netcode. Wow, what a great game. fucking game. It whiffed. I didn't dash. I tried to jump. That's what it gave me. Of course he punches the wrong way. Of course. Everything stuffs. She whiffs, but I can't punish it. She can just throw. Unbelievable. Why did it whiff? Who fucking knows? Get blocked. Well, at least I won, but it's, it's just not satisfying. I hate to say it. When you, when you only fight the same characters over and over, when it's always exactly the same pattern play over and over, there's no satisfaction to be had playing Street Fighter VI. Just being honest. It's just... Ex wow. Jade literally just said it as plain as day. He says, I miss old Street Fighter. I don't like this. This is just rock, paper, scissors. Could I, I don't think I could actually be said any clearer than that. It's someone who comes from old school Street Fighter trying to apply fun gameplay mechanics to a game that literally just favors someone saying safe rock, paper, scissors guesses over and over. And sometimes they win and sometimes they lose. Like, you're right. That's what the game has actually become 100%. It's just playing rock, paper, scissors. Do I, I mean, I could go fucking play Rochambeau right now. You want to know what's funny? At Street Fighter tournaments like Evo, people actually used to play rock, paper, scissors in the hallway for money. They'd be gambling, like, oh, let's play $5 for rock, paper, scissors. And then they'd play like 10 games in a row and see who won and won the most money or whatever. But I mean, there's nothing, nothing at all, at all, of any level of intelligence of the people who I just fought. fought. Nothing, zero. It's all, I. oh, I saw some cool pattern in a video online and I'm gonna regurgitate that pattern a ton and see if it works in my game and then some of them it does some of them it doesn't if they don't fuck up the pattern now i have to guess like that rasheed i don't know how i was supposed to get out of that pattern he was doing that hit string i don't know i got out of it a few times right <clears throat> <laughs>
It's literally rock, paper, scissors the game. Especially when you're in the corner. When you're in the corner, it's the worst. At least from mid screen, you got a few other options. But the problem against the Cami matchup is literally if I just stand here and I press a button and it misses, she has 17 ways to punish me. If she misses, I have like no safe ways to punish her. Everything she does is fast, leads to a giant combo, and is safe. With me, I have to work hard to even get the hit in. So I have to be smart and completely outplay her while she just has to get lucky and mash a button. And that's Cami gameplay in a nutshell. All right, let's split the part. Let's take a break.